Okay, this is the video that goes with the worksheet, Evaluate Expressions Practice. I'm going to do the guided practice and then you'll finish the worksheet on your own. It says evaluate the expression for the given value of the variable or variables. That means I'm going to plug these numbers in everywhere there's a letter. And here's what I want you to do. Wherever you have a variable, put a set of parentheses there and then put the number inside. Plus 5 times b and b is negative 5. Now once I have it written, I put parentheses where the a is, I put parentheses around the b, and then I plug the number negative 6 in for the a, the number negative 5 in for the b. Now I'm going to put that directly in the calculator like we did on the last worksheet. I'm going to go 5 parentheses negative 6 parentheses plus 5 parentheses negative 5 parentheses and what that's going to do is multiply 5 times negative 6 it's going to multiply 5 times negative 5 and then add those two numbers together and give me negative 55. So the answer to number 1 is negative 55. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two is a little tricky. It's got a lot of layers to it. I'm going to put negative two in place of h. So right here where the h is, I'm going to put in negative two. So here's what the top is going to look like. Four parentheses, three times negative two minus six. See how I have a set of parentheses around the negative two in addition to the parentheses around all of that part? And then on the bottom, I'm going to have 1 plus negative 2. Now, anytime you have a fraction where you have a bunch of stuff on the top and a bunch of other stuff on the bottom, it's a good idea to do this in two parts. Let's multiply, all, let's do all the top and get an answer. Let's do all the bottom and get an answer. And then we're going to divide the top number by the bottom. So I'm going to put just the top in the calculator. I'm going to go 4, parentheses, 3, another set of parentheses, negative 2, close that, minus 6, close that. Okay, then I press enter, and on top I get negative 48. Then on the bottom, I'm going to do 1 plus parentheses, negative 2, close the parentheses, and I get negative 1. Now I'm going to do, and if you'll notice, I have my two numbers right here. This is what I got when I did the top. This is what I got when I did the bottom. Now I'm going to do that number divided by that number. Negative 48 divided by negative 1, and that gives me positive 48. So number 2 equals positive 48. Number three. This one, you got to be really careful. And I'll promise you, if you'll pay attention to the parentheses like I've been telling you,